वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स इससे सिटिंग अरेंजमेंट इन पार्क द बेंच एंड द सीट्स आर सो अरेंज दे लुक लाइक ए पजल बट बेसिकली इट्स ए सिटिंग अरेंजमेंट इन ए पार्क फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट ए बी सी ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी एंड विल बी टेकिंग द अल्फाबेट एल एल स्टैंड फॉर लॉजिस्टिक्स लुधियाना सिटी इन पंजाब लॉ एंड ऑर्डर लैंड रिकॉर्ड्स एंड एलईडी लाइट्स फ्रेंड्स टॉकिंग अबाउट लॉजिस्टिक्स आई टोल्ड इन माई अदर वीडियोज ऑल्सो inflation what we have in india right now is logistics can be blamed for that an example of it is ekana city near ludhiana where you get a lot of harvest during the harvesting season there is so much of wheat lying in kana market at times there is no one to carry because the logistics the number of trucks the rates go high sometimes they are not available such is the output from the farmers of punjab and part of punjab farmers but then at times there are nobody to pick their product not only dhiana i am talking about khanna market many times i already told earlier tomatoes in karnataka selling at 50 paisa or 25 paisa per kg in karnataka but nobody to carry them to northern india where they are selling at the rate of 30 paisa 30 rupees per kg yesterday railway minister kharge presented his budget no hike in freight passenger fares and if government is going so it hardly makes any difference it's an interim budget but railway should have contributed lot to the indian economy railways have really suffered for the last 10 maybe 20 years down the line had railways done their good job our gdp would have been much better right now there is so much of vegetable production all over india but metro cities tarvan cities there the rates of vegetables are very high really should have contributed to the transportation of vegetables when milk can be transported from gujarat to other parts of india why can't vegetables be transported when feed rates in indian railway are so high feed rates are used to subsidize passenger fares why so men over the last 10 20 years feet has gone away from railways to the roadways because the rates are so high when you travel by any passenger train the first coach near the engine and the last coach that is a guard they are called a luggage van if you must have observed a lot of luggage is been taken in that every train has got that luggage van and there is so much of corruption in that why railways have to be 
really should only look at their core competency that is their transportation railways can privatize that with that whole luggage van to some private company good company auction it at the national level let good courier companies or good logistic companies take that take that luggage van i'm not saying small small private firms but at the national level there should be at least 20 30 such companies not more than 30 and not not more not less than 10 who take the contract of these luggage vans all over india let them give some contract some lump sum to indian railway for those luggage vans corruption will become less we <laughs> know who take the bribe from this in indian railway tt card everybody is involved in corruption man. look at the railway protection force at various stations no need to go so deep into the country just you can go to indian new delhi railway station after 9 o'clock in the e- evening or go to nizamuddin in day time you may find somebody taking bribe just keep your camera on you will find some so the point i'm saying is <coughs> indian railway should only look at its core competency that is transport transportation not the small small aspects or taking small small packages putting the employee junior employees don't go into that privatize it man i no one company arsha international in that uh, they are uh, they want my more they two three companies like that on small scale so in that engine is of indian railway but the fleet racks are of that company that company is in doldrums and similar companies are in doldrums they has been complained by such companies that container corporation of india since it belongs to indian railway a subsidiary of indian railway indian railway favors that company they have lost a case but there are some questionable aspects let there be privatization man let those companies survive why the rates of fleet are so high if you have to can any indian citizen ever think of having say 200 of 400 or maybe 200 say some sort of luggage some sort of 200 luggages number of say 100 kg each everybody will prefer truck or suppose you if you have 100 you will no will not go by indian railway because the process so tedious you need to go to say station like nizamuddin you will have to bribe somebody then you have to ask for kuli the overheads are so much man instead had things been like that a private company i'm those talking about those firms 20 to 30 it's available in in say delhi in other cities you just phone them and they'll pick that luggages already everything is included in that you just give the money they take it from just now nowadays we have movers and packers packers and movers and so many companies like that just phone them they will pick up from your house things are well defined cost is well defined you know need not need not drive drive anybody at the destination also you don't have to pick you don't have to spend time driving somebody again to take your belongings they will deliver it to home such should be the facilities man that was logistics other components of logistics i have talked in my videos man and talking about dhyana since we are talking about khanna market man dhyana is a wonderful city man i spent my childhood over there 
we had a house there agarnagar bhairandi singhnagar we had and randi singhnagar i remember dandi swami then in medical college hakikat sweets rose garden ludhiana is an industrial city it's a wonderful place people are very enterprising it is a very ronki kind of city vibrant citizens but why i'm talking about ludhiana is the sense of economy is you know to run your business you need a lot of peace of mind and peace of mind is affected by so many things terrorism law and order now at this time i have heard aam aadmi party is going to feel somebody as mr fulka against manish tiwari from congress he is a person who comes from ludhiana why why i am talking about fulka and manish tiwari the reason is in delhi 84 rights everybody knows you must have peace of mind if a citizen rights a certain company community feels insecure then there is a big question mark how somebody can work how somebody can run the business how somebody can be innovative you won't invest if your peace of mind is not there why you invest in industry when you yourself don't feel secure the productivity of the person falls down when there is a northeast kind of things in delhi not good man in past also there have been episodes where like say in assam there are many north indians in assam but few years back they were beaten black and blue and they came back to northern india man north indians are still there in assam but they fear going beyond assam they don't feel secure many indians don't go to northeast just because of law and order problem even the railway network is not good what i mean to say is it's a responsibility of the government to build a congenial kind of atmosphere in the country where people move from north to south west to east east to west means people should have mobility they should not feel insecure within the country the law and order should be so good and who is responsible the politicians special investigation team for 84 rights good man if you can have it for gujarat why not for delhi why not for muzaffarnagar one should have the good intentions man we have good intelligence in us israel even in india i don't doubt we have good intelligence agencies but there is somebody sitting above those intelligence agencies man if they won't get the order why will do why will they do anything of their own so something need to be done man so fulka will be against manish tiwari in ludhiana this time if you want good economy peace of mind then you should support that person or that party he doesn't propagate riots is for law and order is for national integration has far sightedness Com- economy of the country can progress if whole india works in rhythm vibrate with each other have frequency matching with each other people of all indians should feel secure irrespective of the community and the area or the race they belong to and that's the responsibility of the politicians man now covered logistics ludhiana law and order law and order problem is they are all over india man 
why north indians cannot be in maharashtra why son of soil kind of things feel pity few years back when a bhari guy was shot in a bus <laughs> he was not having any pistol with him man he was not a terrorist he could have hand- been handled properly man what do you do when a tiger or a lion get go berserk and comes to the cities do you kill tiger or the lion no you has sedative injections what do you do you fire an injection and the lion the tigers or the tiger and they fall to sleep and then you take them to zoo if you can care so much about tiger and lion why you should shoot somebody a human being man forget whether he's from bihar or some other place it was a very sad moment for the country man even in delhi i don't agree with toll tax kind of things we have in delhi and between delhi and gurgaon but there have never been violence by the lords we have been opposing for long at time even today it was the newspaper that government is thinking of removing the toll still thinking <laughs> still they haven't done it man but they're still thinking it will take another one week or two before toll is removed between delhi and gurgaon toll tax is not good whether in gurgaon or maharashtra but then there should be some way out man violence is not the way out. we should have good law and order coming to land records land records in the country should be good man as i told in my earlier videos many times there have been ancestral properties and they are not proper courts so now digital record should be there i won't dwell into that now coming to led lights light emitting diode now it is after cfl we have led lights led lights are very good they are even better than cfl because there is no mercury in that so from pollution point of view it's also it is safe but they are presently slight costly like in delhi okay kgwal gave subsidy to power this electricity thinking that cag audit report will come by march or june then after that they will review the rates at that till that point i agree when then subsidy is not the solution if the cag reports whatever the cag reports come after that they must review the subsidy been given on electricity because subsidy anyway is not good be it aam aadmi party or any party the chapter of subsidy should be removed from indian economy down the line instead of giving subsidy to elect- on electricity those whose bill come more than 3000 per domestic connection instead of giving subsidy they should give them led lights free of cost say or you can okay don't give them an led lights on free of cost but at least remove all kind of taxes from led lights delhi government is a new modern kind of government man they should not charge any kind of value added tax any kind of tax on led lights in delhi that is what i propose remove subsidy from electricity but encourage led lights that will help in consuming electricity the electricity bill of so many indians so many dalits will automatically go down and so should be the followed by rest of indians also led lights are very good man well friends that is all so much to talk 
but then if we focus on these things logistics electricity we can have very good economy of our country